You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, black and white sports fans, we have some sibling conflict in the NFL. So we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Chargers. I still want to call them the San Diego Chargers. You know, remember the song, the San Diego Superchargers? Pretty cool. But the owner of um, the Las Vegas Chargers, Dean Spanos, he's getting sued by his sister. Now, the Chargers are owned by all of the siblings. There's actually four kids. Each one of them actually owns 15 percent. And also there's a trust that owns uh, roughly about a third of the team. And Dean Spanos and his sister, Dia, actually are the co-trustees of that. So that is where the major conflict arises. Now, Dean Spanos is the controlling owner and his sister, Dia. This seems to be a power grab as she now wants control of the Chargers. And guys, she is playing the misogynistic card. Check this out. You can see here it says Dean Spanos accused of misogynistic behavior by sister in Chargers ownership ownership lawsuit. A brewing battle over ownership of the Los Angeles Chargers just got publicly ugly. Dean Spanos, Barbarian, part owner of the Chargers and sister of controlling owner Dean Spanos, accused her brother of misogynistic behavior, self-dealing and repeated breaches of fiduciary duty in a lawsuit over control of the team, according to ESPN. Barbarian is reportedly seeking sole control of a family trust that accounts for uh, more than one third of the Chargers ownership. Her lawsuit filed to Thursday in San Joaquin County Superior Court also reportedly requests Spanos be removed as co-trustee and seeks unspecified financial damages. The lawsuit reportedly argues Dean Spanos, uh, his leadership of the Chargers, specifically moving the team from San Diego to Los Angeles, has left the team in financial dire straits. Barbarian claims the Spanos family trust to be all but insolvent and that the family must sell the team to satisfy the trust's debts, debt obligations estimated at over three hundred and fifty eight million dollars. In addition to claims of Dean diverting one hundred and five million dollars from the trust to various debts and borrowing sixty million dollars to purchase an airplane for Dean and brother Michael's use. Barbarian uh, paints her two brothers as misogynists. <laughs> And this is from ESPN here. It says Barbarian accuses brothers Dean and Michael of repeatedly acting out of their deeply held misogynistic attitudes and sense of entitlement as the men of the family and to rationalize uh, their pitiful behavior, which she believes is intended to teach her that a woman has no rights, no matter what any trust instrument might say. Close quote. The lawsuit also states that Dean and Michael believe to their cores that regardless of what their parents intended and their wills specified, men are in charge and women should shut up. So she's playing this misogynistic card guys. And in today's era, you know, this is not really a surprise. It's really not. Barbarian previously filed a petition last year to force the sale of the charges who have had to pay a $645 million relocation fee for the privilege of moving up uh, the coast to Southern California. The move remains controversial at best as the team initially struggled to attract fans and the already sports saturated market, the Los Angeles Rams, her earlier, earlier arrival and continued success didn't help. The team managed to rank in the top 10 in attendance uh, with 70,240 fans per home game, but This new lawsuit indicates the team needs much more money flowing its way. However, guys, the siblings of uh, Diaz Spanos have come in and responded as well. And this includes her sister. It says here soon after the report that Barbarian's lawsuit was published, her three siblings and their families released a statement claiming her accusations to be false and provocative uh, via uh, Gilbert 
Manzano of the Orange County Register. It says this. It is unfortunate that our sister Dia, who clearly has no interest in continuing to participate in the family's businesses, has resorted to leveling false and provocative charges in an attempt to impose her will on the rest of the family. The three of us and our children representing more than 75 percent of the family and its ownership of the business stand united in support of our parents and grandparents wishes, including to the uh, continued ownership of the chargers. In other words, we're not going to sell guys. What do, what do you guys think of this? This is a family battle that has um, gotten really ugly. If you ask me, I guess it'll continue to get ugly. Maybe Dia just came out and uh, accused the brothers of being misogynistic. But however, her other sister stands with the brothers. So I don't know what's going to come of this guys. I really don't, but this is just a crazy, crazy story. Um, out there publish is public now. So we'll have to see what happens, but that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this black and white sports fans? Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to black and white sports and we'll catch you next time. Black and white network supporters. Make sure you check out the black and white network merchandise store link in the description use promo code usa first all one word usa first all one word 25 percent off now thanks for watching the show be sure to like comment and subscribe be sure to tune in next time on black and white sports